I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, evening, wherever you're tuning in from. This is Jean Collins here. We are talking about skin and ingredients, more specifically makeup this round of Wellness Wednesday. So if you don't wear makeup, you might want to share this with someone who does wear makeup. That would be awesome. Um, and you also might want to listen, listen up if you're trying to help them be more ingredient savvy so that you can make sure that you point out, granted, they should really just listen to this, right? People don't like being told what to do. So that might be a conversation that you need to have with them. Anyways, two ingredients. Y'all should do the, your research. Don't just take my word for it. That's what I love you guys for. Okay, but bismuth. We, so with Savvy Minerals, we say no to over 2,500 ingredients. And, which is way higher than, I love my country, the USA, but we only ban 11 ingredients. And then the European Union bans 1,328. So that's still pretty good, but Young Living, we are the new standard in clean beauty as we ban over 2,500. Some of the ingredients that we say no to are bismuth. Bismuth is literally like crushed up metals that's usually found in foundation, which you usually put all over your face, right ladies? Yeah, foundation all over the face is not cool. Or with bismuth, if it has bismuth in it. Because then if you are trying to cover up an issue and you're adding small par particles of metal, that's really irritating the skin. That's not helping. That's like adding, like saying, oh, we'll keep using the makeup because we're going to make your face look crazy. No, we don't want that. We want something to support the skin. EDTA, which is short for ethylenodiamine acid. It's really long, you guys. But it's EDTA, and it's normally used as a preservative to help make the product sustainable, but we just didn't like the ingredient. We thought it was too toxic, so we said no. Heavy metals, other heavy metals besides the bismuth, like uh, cadmium, mercury, and arsenic can be found in pretty much all of your makeup, your eyeshadow, your lipstick. And remember, if you've seen me talk about it before, your lipstick, you're basically slowly consuming it. So you wanna be careful and you wanna know exactly all the ingredients and wanna make sure that they're safe for you and your body. Um, and then mineral oil. Mineral oil is a clear odorless oil but it's derived from multiple grades of petroleum. And petroleum clogs up your pores and it also increases the risk of acne and blackheads. We don't want that, right? So we have a few different options. We have our liquid foundation. Then we also have our powder foundation. You can use both. Some people do like to um, add their powder foundation as like a veil. So that's really awesome, right? That's an option. We do have our diamond dust veil, which is amazing too. Uh, it's more sh uh, sparkly. So some people who want more of a matte, just use your foundation. That would be your matte. And then I'm gonna talk about the, the liquid foundation and the concealer were released in, like, uh, in June of 2020 at our company convention. So, Liquid foundation, it has avocado oil, which hydrates the skin, the sunflower seed oil, which reduces moisture loss, so sunflower seed oil is great, mica, and those crystals provide a youthful radiant finish on our, it's also our mica's ethically sourced in the United States. So that's awesome, just so you know. And then Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood enhances the natural radiance and that's also in our foundation. So the liquid foundation. And then we have the self-soothing plant polymers that protect the skin moisture and help create a smooth appearance and an even coverage. So it's just, it's amazing. It really feels great and awesome. And it's very moisturizing, which is nice. I've, I've had people mention that they've, their skin has gotten better. So I use foundation probably, I started wearing it more consistently like the last week, like literally. I've always done eye makeup for like the last two or three years. 
obviously I have no makeup on now. It's kind of funny, but I, I was snowboarding. So I don't, I don't put on makeup to go snowboarding. It just never made sense to me or any sport literally has. Yeah. doesn't make sense to me. It's cool. If you do it, that's cool. We have 12 different, no, we have 13 shades of awesome colors. So all sorts of beautiful skin types. And then there's descriptions. I'm not going to go over the descriptions. I will happily email this to you. All my contact info is below. So feel free if you need that. I'm sure you can also find it online too. But I'd love to connect with you. It's awesome, right? Okay, so for the concealer, the concealer has the self-soothing plant polymers that help increase the moisture of the skin to create that smooth finish. So that's in both the foundation and the concealer. But back to the concealer. Tea tree essential oil has the cleansing properties. Tea tree is also really just good for skin in general. And Manuka essential oil reduces the appearance of blemishes and supports healthy looking skin. They're very smart with their concealer. They're using, I mean, what do we usually use concealer for? Covering something up that has usually just popped up, right? I also remember, I encourage you when that happens, look into the area and see what organ needs support. Like for this, I know I am supporting my hormones more. It's actually, it's almost better. It's awesome. It's great. Um, sunflower seed oil reduces moisture loss and then the avocado oil hydrates the skin. So you have both in the liquid foundation and the concealer, the self soothing, self smoothing plant polymers. Self-soothing. You can tell that emotions are high right now, right? I've been talking about soothing things. Anyways, self-smoothing plant polymers, the sunflower seed oil, the avocado oil are both in the liquid foundation and the concealer. The essential oils are what different? Difference, which is awesome. And then remember, you have your mineral foundation. If you are not a liquid fan, just use the mineral foundation. It's awesome. You spray the misting spray on your brush, you collect the minerals and you put it on because minerals do work better when they have, um, more oil on the skin. Okay. They, so just be aware of that. Remember, look into your ingredients, look at the stuff that I mentioned, do your own research. Ingredients are important. As I've mentioned before with skin, if you have certain products that there are interrupting the skin or interrupting, not only the skin, but it's getting absorbed through the skin and it's interrupting the endocrine system. Your endocrine system is your hormones, but it's also connected to your immune system and it also regulates your weight. So you want to be aware of many things with the endocrine system. You don't want to use products. Let's, let's make sure we're using products that have clean ingredients to support the endocrine system. Also, just again, for skin health, since I've been doing this skin, uh, at least six episodes, hydrate, make sure you're staying hydrated. Healthy diet is going to be huge. And like I said, the chemicals, look at the ingredients. Yeah. Okay. Have a good one, you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.